What's going on everyone? Good morning. It's Alex with another episode of Brick Builder and I just want to say I hope y'all are having a great day. But before we dive in today's feature of what we really wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about a few things from yesterday's video um, of other comments. One being one that stood out to me deeply was one of the users requested to be removed from the drawing um, because out of courtesy they didn't want to put me to to struggle to put the the purchases on a credit card first off i i really appreciate y'all thinking that way but i did not mean yesterday's video to be any sort of you know peer pressure or guilt trap or anything like that no i promise you what i'm doing has been generally thought out um, it's not going to break our bank it's not going to cause us to lose the house it's not going to cause us to pull the kids out of school or change our lifestyle or anything like that um but i really do appreciate it i want to give back i want to do what's nice and what's right and and that's why i'm doing this so please don't feel guilty um and i apologize if i made you feel that way uh that was definitely not the plan that was definitely not the object of yesterday's video i was blown away by the blown away by the amount of support from y'all and i kind of just wanted to say thank you and and you know, really, this entire month, this whole giveaway has really caused me to open up with everybody. And it's, I was thinking about it last night, and it's very weird and strange, because I never thought about getting to that point where we're being so open. So, again, I, I don't want you, anybody, any one of you to feel guilty if you win and you want to pick the largest set you possibly can. Um, no, that was fully thought about beforehand. And and trust me, we're, we're going to be fine. Uh... And, and I really, really, really appreciate you thinking that way. And it, it really meant a lot. Um, so thank you. But please don't don't bypass it because of that. That'll make me feel worse. Uh, again, I just wanted to do some nice things for people. And this was kind of what I came up with. So please keep that in mind. But also uh, keep in mind at the end of this video, we will update you on the new dollar giveaway amount. And I'm very excited. And I'm getting even more excited uh, now that everything's pretty much solidified to get to next Thursday or next Wednesday evening, whatever the date is, the end of January. Can't wait. So a lot of you asked about the software I was using and that kind of gave me an idea, you know, maybe I'll do a, a full on tutorial of it. So uh, I want to preface this by saying, first off, I am no expert on this software. I am a novel user and I'll go into details why I like to use it and whatnot and what all you can do, but I want you to know that I've not ever had any formal training on this, uh, so I may be missing a lot. I may, may, may not be doing things uh, in the right order or causing myself to have more uh, clicks because of the way I do things. You know, it's not anything that I've ever like went and been trained on or watched any videos on. I kind of just have been teaching myself as I've learned. Uh, and the software is Studio from Bricklink. Uh, if you just Google Bricklink Studio, you'll see it. It's the first one. If you click on it, I am personally using Studio 2.0 for Mac, uh, but you can download the PC version as well. Um, and once you download it, it really just allows you to come in here and do basically anything you want. You could use, you have the right to any pieces, and here we go, I will... Go ahead and open up a new tab. And here you have kind of the basic layout when you first open uh, Studio. Um, you have these options up here. I don't use these a ton, but you can um, kind of change your hinge angles. Um, you can clone parts. You can hide parts that you're using so you can see underneath them. That one I do use actually a lot. Connect, collision, snap, grid, those I don't really use. Render allows you to kind of render a 3D object. Um, you can create instructions from this. So over here on your right, you'll see steps as I start putting pieces in and it'll allow you to create an instruction manual. So that way when you order your parts, uh, you can go back and build it. And I think that's really cool, but I've not really done that yet. And now you can turn uh, import pictures and turn them into mosaics, which I plan on doing with a family picture of ours. I just want to see how cool it would look and ultimately build a mosaic family picture for my new Lego room. Um, underneath that, you have a number of different uh, 
options for pieces, I guess. Um, I typically leave this on main, and then below that you have little images of every single piece that's available. I should say every single piece, but the hefty majority of the pieces. As you can see, there's 728 bricks, 104 round bricks, 120 modified bricks, 337 slopes, 211 curved slopes. So as you can see, there's thousands of pieces here. Now you can also select those shapes by brick link categories or just by the overall shape. I personally use the overall shape and I, I, I will say this, the majority of time, the, the, the more you use this, the more efficient you get. Um, when I first started, it was, I didn't know the names of specific bricks. I had to look them up on Google and uh, lego.com. But the more I've worked with it, the more I understand what the bricks are titled. So what I typically do is start off with just 32 by 32 base plate. You tap it, you can bring it in here. So this is your kind of work area. And you can see down here at the bottom, it's got your base plate, the piece you select, it'll update the price as you currently go. So you can kind of keep a running total um, because this is tied to BrickLink, the store where, you know, private sellers can sell all of their Lego pieces. And at the very end of this, I'll show you one of the cooler things from it, but it allows you to kind of keep a running price. Um, it allows you to find alternative bricks, compatible bricks. If you replace it, you can copy it and mirror it. So I've placed that 32 by 32 base plate in and then as you can see when i double click and hold it's just like google earth where you can move around uh to change your viewpoint of what you're building so definitely a cool thing um over here on the right you have your color palette so if you click that you can go through and select what color you want to change your lego piece and i really like this content colors uh, because it allows you to say what colors am I currently using in my build and it's going to list those there so you can kind of keep the same color palette you don't constantly have to go through this and uh, change things um, and memorize them for the most part so that's that's a really cool thing um, below that you have your step list or you can do a color validator which it just basically searches the web and finds the the fact that it has colors and one thing I do want to say is I do believe this BrickLink Studio updates on a live environment. So what do I mean by that? Let's just go ahead and say we want two by two or one by two modified brick. We want the we're going to get the masonry brick bricks. We're going to get the masonry bricks. And as you can see, we can copy. I can control C to control V and it'll allow me to pick those up and move them and, you know, create more. Now you can see when I overlap them like that, those two go invisible or see through transparent. That's that telling me, Hey, you can't do this because you're, you're, you're forcing two solid objects together. It's not going to work in real life. So it does keep an eye out for you when you're building. So it does allow you to do, a lot of cool things once you kind of learn the the environment of what you're doing digitally so i'm just going to copy and paste those there and as you can see we have eight white masonry bricks now if i go into yellow and let's say i want dark tan there and let's just give you uh a couple different variations of different little uh colors when it comes to building these so as you can see i could pick realistically any type of color that i want but when i color these you could see them over here one the color of the brick matches the color of the brick on your actual display so i love that it makes things easy to find but also you see this exclamation point next to it and that's telling you that the color is currently unavailable on brick lake now i am almost positive don't hold me to this but i am almost positive that this updates as brick link updates because i swear i have seen stuff like this one come and go 
I've seen stuff like this come and go. And I could be wrong. It could just be the actual colors, but I've looked up stuff on you on Lego.com and I've found the the tannish colors that Bricklink says is not available. And I think it's due to Bricklink being sold out of those. So it's not allowing you to, to in, input those. So that's a really cool thing as well. So one other thing that I would say is a, a difficult thing to learn is let's just, so if you wanted to say, I want this one, we're gonna take this and put it right there. So as you can see, I'm using, I'm switching the angles of these bricks uh, I'll bring that up closer to you. So if I hit the down arrow, I'm able to move those bricks in different angles. Uh, so as you can see right now, I have two or a one by two area in between those. I can't put this brick there because there's nothing holding it together. So one of the things that I learned and I've kind of kind of taught myself was when doing something like that, when you want uh, to combine the two, you kind of put like a, a placeholder. You go in, you drop that one in, and then you come back and you delete the placeholder. So that's a little uh, kind of trick of the trade. Now, if I go to move this, that's obviously, you, you have to remember to pick it up and move it to keep it where it is. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to keep it conjoined, but for me, that's just something that I've learned and picked up as I've gone through this, progressing through uh, with a uh, building an actual set. Um, and at the bottom here, you can see it keeps your total parts. So very, very cool. I love that. Um, you can then, once you get, let's just hypothetically say, if I go to the set that I was showing you guys yesterday, so I got my Batman building. If I'm done with this, obviously I'm not, but if I am done, I can go up to file, export as a parts list. And I could save the parts list to my desktop. Pretty cool. But you could also go to Bricklink Click go to my studio. It's going to pull up your login. Okay, well, it's not going to let me log in. So I don't know why it's acting as this. But what I was getting at, if you go to Bricklink and you go to my studio, what you'll do is you're basically pulling this file into your Bricklink studio. Now you have to have an account for this. But what that'll then allow you to do is... A, you could submit your your builds to like uh, the, the, the designer program. You could create instruction manuals that you can then sell, I believe. But the thing that I've used it for is you can upload the parts list like without exporting it. Just by sending it to Bricklink, it'll create a parts list. And then it will search the entire site of Bricklink and spit out a number of different options for the cheapest Lego parts around the world. For you to buy which is really cool and i mean it saves you a ton of time now this is bricklink not lego.com so you do have to be a little cautious of what you're doing but it took me a couple tries to to go through i price matched everything it's definitely the easiest route uh and it it's it's a lifesaver uh to do this where it, it, it'll pull up vendors a number of different vendors it'll say hey you're getting eight total packages this one from ireland this one from france this one from australia and three from america and it basically does everything for you you just put in your money and and pay for it and it's within a couple of weeks you get all the pieces now obviously it depends on where you live and where the pieces are coming from for the total time but you know it's it's a really cool thing i'm sorry i can't show you on that but uh, if you go back and watch my Building a Mock Modular in 30 Day series, I cover a lot on this. I think the first like two weeks I spend building and designing in studio. I show you the entire process of uh, ordering through Bricklink. In fact, I'll link it up somewhere and down below. Uh, I'll put the link for a couple of those videos so you can see those if you want to check them out. But 
that's that's kind of uh, Brick Lake in a nutshell. Um, I really hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I hope that you learned something um, because that's kind of what I'm here to do. Not just spread love and joy and happiness, but help you te help teach somebody something. If that's if I'm able to help somebody learn something about Lego would be fantastic. Now, because obviously I'm not a Lego master, I, I struggle with a lot of things building and I'm, I got my list of things I want to work on this year. So I'm hoping I uh, can achieve those, but Brick Lake Studio, very good way to learn how to build certain things. Um, so that's kind of how I do it uh, a lot of times. I spend a lot of my nights on there when I can't sleep, you know, I go in there and just start designing stuff. So definitely suggest it. You should check it out. Um, but I hope you enjoyed what I promised at the beginning of the video was what is the total new dollar amount. And that is with a week left, $1,087.70 that we are going to get to spend on y'all for Lego. So keep this up. Let's keep, keep driving that number up. I know I, I was kind of being a downer the last couple days, but I'm excited. I can't wait. And I don't want y'all to feel bad about spending my money. Spend it. I'm ordering you too. So, thank y'all for joining us. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Definitely make sure you comment below and tell us what you think about Bricklink Studio and anything else. Um, I really appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this. Hope you have a wonderful day. As always... Stay happy, stay joyful, stay positive, but most importantly, stay creative. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.